I haven't been on a train in like forever. Check this out, they gave me my own room, everything. I got like two beds up here. Two beds in my room on the train. That's fantastic. Yeah, I think you guys might like to know where I'm going, so I will tell you. I'm going to the reptile shop that I got my first snake at when I was four years old, the East Bay Vivarium. Arguably the oldest reptile shop in the country. I think there's one other place that's been in the same building Longer, but this one has been around longer just had to move because of an earthquake back in 89 87 one of those years 89 it was 89 and Dave Kaufman is flying in on a plane as we speak He's gonna meet us at the uh, train station pick me up and we're gonna go and Check out one of the coolest and oldest reptile shops in the country ready. Let's go. And there it is, East Bavarium and Dave Kaufman. Good morning. Here we are at the East Bavarium, Berkeley, California, with Dave Kaufman. <laughs> so Dave, Dave, uh, Dave was. Remember when I did the live stream and I was talking about how it seemed like there were more guys emotionally invested in my hair than than anybody else, uh, and the fact that I cut Dave here. He here, Dave. Take a look. What do you think? I don't even know you anymore. <laughs> Seriously, we all want to cut our hair, Brian, but you don't actually do it. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, here's what I'm going to do, okay, Dave? Th guys, there's going to be a link down in the description for Dave's channel. And if you are severely uh, in need of hair, Dave's got plenty to go around. So you can go subscribe to his channel. If you're missing all the hair that's no longer happening here, you can go find it over on Dave's channel. There you go. You're welcome. Dave Kaufman's Hairy Adventures. <laughs> <laughs> If you want to come check out the East Bay Vivarium for yourself, there's the address right there, 5th Street in Berkeley, California. All right, let's go inside and check it out. Hi, pups. Hi, pups. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. What's going on? There have always been dogs out front of the Vivarium, like literally always. This is one place I've never actually been in the Vivarium for all the years I've been coming here. It's back behind the counter. <laughs> this is where they keep a lot of the little baby snakes for sale, and this has always been the case since the first time I ever came here. They had these racks. I didn't realize that this, that's what this was when I was here, was that it was a you know a little baby snake rack system. And this is right where I got Carl, our very first ball python. And then of course, as I told you guys before, and I've probably told you guys over and over again, I was four years old when I got my very first snake here from the East Bay Vivarium. And uh, it's just so cool. It's really special to come back here and be here with Dave because Dave has been a big part of my re inundation into the hobby when I first saw his channel, then got to meet him in person, became friends. And now to have him here with me at the first place that I ever got into keeping reptiles when I was a little kid and walk through these same places really hasn't changed much since uh, 
I was coming, you know, this is the spot they've been since I was about eight years old. And it's, uh, it hasn't changed a whole lot. It's cool. Howdy. Good morning. Good morning. Well, right, can well, I go that, home? On that note, let's this, get started. There is all this time gone. Yeah, because when I was in high school, Bruce's shop was under one of the most famous record stores in, in Minneapolis, down the valley. And so we would all huh. go to the record store, buy Metallica's new one or whatever, and then we'd go downstairs and there was Bruce's shop. And, That's funny. Yeah. We'd all well, go. yeah, you know the tie between that and this. Look at that. That's, uh, this is my, this is two years old. I did an album 40 years ago, and this is the follow-up. Okay, we're gonna talk about that. Like, <laughs> music guys, music reptile guys and music guys, there's yeah, something, yeah. there's a tie yeah, there, there's man. There's a symbiotic uh, relationship between the two, isn't it? Yeah, there is. All right, folks, we are here with Owen, who is one of the co-owners here at the East Bay You've been, Hello. we're just talking, you've been running the shop now for 42 years? It'll be 42 years in February. 42 yeah. years in February, so 1988. So you bought in like right when the earthquake happened basically uh, about eight months before the earthquake yeah six months before the earthquake six yeah. months so you buy yeah. into the shop earthquake destroys oh, yeah, everything yeah 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 I immediately had to re move and rebuild so yeah can you give us just a brief history of of the shop shop was started started in oakland by ron cobble uh in 1970 69 somewhere around there uh 70 we'll say um and uh, I came in um, I, uh, just to, as a worker in 79 uh, and decided I liked the work enough to where I bought in uh, in about 88. So uh, I've been here for that long, but stores, this is our 50th year. Wow, 50th, 50 year anniversary, this is a good time to do a video here. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. We're going to pull out some animals and play with them, which is, of course, always the most fun thing to do at a reptile shop. He always gives me trouble coming out. Once he's out, he's fine. Ah. <laughs> Look at that tail, man. <laughs> he's a good guy. Takes him a minute to settle down. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Hey, Morris. Oh, you're even gonna drool for us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Big knucklehead. Water monitor, of course. And <laughs> not very old and full of rambunctiousness. How old is he? Yeah, he's probably four at this point. Okay. He's just a baby. Um, really a sweet guy but he's not entered his mellow years yet. But we uh, do a traveling reptile show for which he's the star. How'd you come up with the name Boris? Uh, a lot of the animals in here are named after classic professional wrestlers. My favorite wrestler when I was a kid was the Russian nightmare Boris Malenko. Gotcha. And... Uh, <laughs> Look at that we, guy, man. we have a, a fondness for monitors here particularly my theory is that one of the elements that goes into the evolution of intelligence is hunting. And even the carnivorous reptiles primarily don't hunt. They sit and wait, right. sit and wait for what comes by. Monitors actually hunt, and thus it makes them the smartest of all the reptiles. Um, you know, they, they really have a sense of what's going on around them, uh, they know who people are fairly quickly. Um, all the kinds of things, behaviors you would uh, associate with intelligence, including the ability to figure out how to get out of cages, they are there. So they're one of my favorites for that reason. If, <laughs> if they had opposable thumbs, they'd rule the world. There's that theory of uh, li lizard people. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, check out this big, beautiful Suriname boa. That's a beauty right there. I never thought that I would ever keep snakes like this, this size, like this size and, and bigger. I always thought, nah, even when I would come here, I'd look at the snakes and be like, it's a bit much snake for a guy like me, I think, but obviously that's changed, but check this out. 
And of course, the big thing about a red tail is that red tail. Look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful snake tail. <laughs> it's, an, it's a very friendly snake right here. Just stunning. Yeah, yeah, good. It's the joys of holding one camera with one hand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always wanted to come here as a kid and pull out the big snakes, but I never did. So I'm living a childhood dream right now, guys. That's what's happening. Childhood dreams abound. Ah. That big, beautiful, giant scrub python. I'm told that she's very, very bitey and that I'm not allowed to hold her, but I really want to anyway. But I'll just have to look at her through the glass. She just had a fresh shed. Awesome. Behind the scenes, I'm gonna film Dave. Oh, I went came in too bright. Come on, Cusco. I'm gonna film Dave filming behind the scenes, behind the scenes. So these are Brazilian rainbows. Yeah. One of the few snakes that actually gets prettier as it gets older. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey. I got the exclusive behind the scenes. I'm, uh, I'm filming you <laughs> filming behind the scenes. I'm, the scenes. I'm filming you behind the scenes in the scenes. This is... How long can we let this go on for? I, I don't know. I'm done. Yeah. So <laughs> you just hit the uh, unsubscribe button on your channel. <laughs> <laughs> So we're up in the upstairs area of the East Bay Vivarium now, and they're, they're actually doing uh, boarding for animals here because of all the California fires, there's a lot of homes that animals have had to leave. So they're, they're providing free service for folks that needed to have a place for their, folk, their animals, and they're, they're doing it for free to help out with the fires. That's really cool of them. All right, this little counter display here is bringing back some big memories. This is where I would come as a kid, like every week that I came here with my dad, because he worked right over the hill in San Leandro. We'd come here and I'd look at these snakes in this case, and the guy would stand back here behind the counter and be pulling out the snakes for me to check out every week. Like, is this kid actually gonna buy a snake? <laughs> and I would at times, but yeah, big memories standing right here at this counter. We are back in our golden chariot, about to go on some more adventures. Dave actually filmed two videos and there. He's got one of tarantula, uh, tarantula video with Jessica, who did a fantastic job. This girl was nervous to be on camera, but she just killed it. Just like she someone, did. she killed it. She did a great job. So I'll put a link for Dave's other channel where you can see the tarantula video as well. And um, big thank you to Owen and John for having us this morning before the store is open and letting us do that. It was fun. Big moment for me to go in there and relive all that history of, of my own uh, in, in a shop like that in a place like that but uh, the next video coming up you can expect to see the newest reptile shop in the country on a Cusco Uncut and uh, until we make that happen I'm sorry I'm looking up we're in Berkeley there's it's hectic out here you never know when somebody's coming at you sideways <laughs> well that's true that guy looked a little <laughs> I didn't know I think I thought we were about to get um, sideswiped <laughs> he, he looked at us like we had a bucket of chicken that he wanted to come and take a little sample of <laughs> Don't know where I pulled that from, but it's out there. It's in the universe now. I said it. Can't take it back. We'll see you guys. Oh boy. You guys take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. We'll be uh <laughs> This is ridiculous.